Hello, I'm Colin McGinnis, Senior Vice President of Store Operations. I have some exciting news that I would like to share with you regarding an improved delivery process for our stores. Unloading the delivery trailer can be a long, physically demanding process. To help make it simpler, easier, and a safer task to complete, this new process will deliver the most merchandise directly into the store on pallets, and each trailer will be equipped with an electric pallet jack and a lift gate. All the merchandise will be palletized from now on except for some larger, lighter weight cartons which will be used to fill in the space above the pallets during transit. This means instead of handling a few thousand cartons each day, you'll only handle a few hundred. The intent of this process is to speed up the delivery of our product to our stores and ultimately for our customers. As a driver for Family Dollar, your role is to ensure merchandise is unloaded in a safe and efficient manner in collaboration with our store team members. This training video will walk you through the steps and give you some helpful tips to make the process easier. Let's get started. First, report to transportation to pick up your trip sheet packet. This includes your delivery route paperwork and seals. Review all paperwork before hooking your unit. You want to make sure you have the right trailer and the paperwork matches your route assignment. Check that your white seals match the seals in your trip sheet for each store delivery. Also review your bills of lading for directions to stores. Check your load diagram to ensure that an electric pallet jack has been loaded and is marked as fully charged. If you do not see a pallet jack number listed, or if it is not marked as fully charged, immediately report this to your dispatcher and do not leave until someone has verified that there is a fully charged pallet jack on the trailer. The load diagram has been redesigned to allow you to provide feedback on certain conditions found during the unload process. Be sure to review the bottom half of the load diagram and complete as needed during each store's delivery. This provides valuable feedback to the DC in order to improve their loading quality. Take pictures of any defects you noted on the load diagram. Next is your pre-trip inspection. Check for any damages to the trailer. If you find damage, let your transportation manager know. Any unreported damages could be charged back to you and your company. Make sure your seal is correct and matches the outbound seal in your trip sheet. Pre-trip your lift gate. We will cover the pre-trip inspection process of the lift gate in the Maxon Lift Pre-Trip and Operation video. If there are issues, contact the shop immediately before leaving the DC. The pre-trip is all about keeping you safe, so take your time. Then you'll head to the guardhouse. A security guard will review your paperwork. The security guard will then break the shipping seal and apply the outbound seal for your departure. If your 28-foot trailer has a column lift or rail gate, you must lower the lift gate for the guard in order to allow the seal to be applied. As you approach the normal delivery area of the store, the receiving door will have a sign stating it is certified as a pallet delivery store. Do not attempt a lift gate delivery if the store is not certified. We'll review the roller delivery process later in this video. Before we go into some delivery scenarios that you will encounter, let's talk about something that is very important to Family Dollar as well as your organization, safety. Backing constitutes a large number of accidents that we have on this account. The best way to avoid backing incidents is to get out and look before backing to ensure that there are no people or obstacles in your way. Safety is of the utmost importance when delivering, especially with a lift gate. While backing up, watch for obstacles such as dumpsters, awnings, posts, cars, and pedestrians. You have to be alert and expect the unexpected. With a lift gate delivery, you need to survey the ground and find the closest hard flat area to drop the lift gate on. Ensure you have enough room to operate the lift gate and electric pallet jack without obstructions. Some delivery zones are straightforward, like this one, but others, as you will see later, are more challenging. No matter which scenario for delivery you encounter, you must set out your safety cones at the end corners of the lift gate to provide a safe clearance area for the lift gate. By using safety cones, you let others know that they should stay clear during the delivery process. In most situations, you will back up and lower the lift gate to the ground. Remember, sometimes you will not have to back up at all and may be able to pull up parallel to the receiving door. It just depends on the receiving door area, but look for the easiest approach and don't make it harder than it needs to be. There are other situations where you will not be able to lower the lift gate to the ground for delivery and will need to use a dock plate or a dock pad. We'll learn more about these alternate